I know uh, total lockdown is just crazy and uh, and it's only going to get crazier by the day and uh, and obviously the biggest uh, fear going forward is what after that right of course most of us will survive and surely survive but uh, obviously uh, what after that because right now uh, you know uh, we're all overburdened with whatsapp messages uh, giving all kinds of stories and then those sad stories coming from italy and spain recently and uh, and scary again and of course a whole lot of idiotic stories of people trying to venture out and uh, then not to forget the conspiracy theories of uh, uh, who started it and what is the intent behind it and who is it going to benefit whether it's going to be china that is uh, the beneficiary of this whole thing or uh, it's against china of course most of us as entrepreneurs are always driven to this conspiracy theories and um, rightly so right i mean uh, we we are fundamentally uh, an entrepreneur is a non conformist and uh, uh, every uh, uh, every conspiracy theory obviously is against the norm or conform so it's very natural for us to get attracted to a conspiracy theory but i'm not here to talk about uh, conspiracy theories uh, uh, maybe uh, it does excite me and uh, but for another day so uh, uh, my primary thing is about what's next uh, where are we headed um, honestly i don't know how long this is going to take will it get over by 15th of april will it be end of april may june i have no clue but i know for a fact that this will get over and we'll all see a day where we have to get started and get moving and uh, one thing for sure that i know is that it's not going to be that we had a long pause and it's back to the routine our routines are going to change and uh, it's not that uh, uh, because you know we we just been locked down for so long that it's going to be difficult for us to get back to routine which is a fact but i'm not referring to it from that context where i'm coming from is that uh, the world's changing it's not that uh, the covid-19 is ch- forcing the world to change of course it is playing a major role but uh, i think there was a writing in the wall for quite some time that uh, most of us failed to uh, take note of right i mean you could uh, you obviously many of you have been noticing that uh, there is a right wing movement across the globe right uh, uh, starting I mean, of course india Uh, it's a second term of uh, modi government and in uh, us uh, trump is uh, optimistic of coming for the second term and uh, across the globe various such things where people have even including many countries in europe people have uh, are be uh, are moving more towards the right wing and uh, of course uh, what happened in uh, great britain right the brexit which which was uh, originally a joke but it's a reality today so uh, so what is that uh, writing on the wall that we missed that uh, world is changing it's just not uh, politically that world is changing it's socially world is changing economically world is changing the way we did business is changing for uh, last few hundred years uh, the globalization you know set forth in fact it was the globalization which got europeans to come to india and even rulers right and uh, of course uh, it got mature with uh, outsourcing and many indian companies also became billion dollar companies and multi billion dollar companies and global organizations in the process in the last 70 years post independence but uh, this is what is changing now this world order of globalization and um, the uh, uh, what is taken to be as a norm is changing uh question is whether do we want to accept it now i know i, I uh, you probably think that i wanted to avoid talking about conspiracy theories and i'm trying to talk about another conspiracy theory here no this is my hunch this is my strong hunch and this is what i've been reading this is what i've been observing and uh, this is what i'd like to share with you that things are changing things are changing uh, in every manner right every every uh, uh, every aspect of business is changing uh uh the way we have been governed will change right it's just not that uh, 
you know uh, our leftist government is a purely leftist which is not the case right I'm mean, you know what's happening in China it, it, it's the most economically powerful country apart from the fact that it's also a leftist country but uh, the left <laughs> and the country which is adding billionaires every year uh, doesn't add up right so things are changing and uh, what's in it for us and how's uh, uh, wh why are we talking about it in the uh, coronavirus context so what the coronavirus has done is that it has forced all of us to be locked down it's pushed governments to push back uh, we've always said majority of the people have always been suspicious of government efforts and the gaps in healthcare and it's become glaring not just in India across the globe right the developed countries the so-called developed countries they are struggling the most right so uh, 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 where people believe that they are strong in are exposed to be their weak points so uh, and uh, it is also becoming more and more evident that it was all driven in the interest of uh, large enterprises and large industries and large business to get stronger and bigger and obviously control information so this is where I believe that things are going to change. Given the uh, uh, complete lockdown, businesses are stuck. Businesses are going to uh, be really struggling going forward. Once the uh, uh, world opens up and we start getting back out, uh, and uh, government can't save every industry, right? And uh, banks are also in bad shape. Will the government? Uh, save the banks which were uh, uh, investing in uh, over leveraged large industries obviously the money is stuck right and uh, or will they uh, uh, save the large industries perhaps they will attempt it right government will obviously attempt at saving the banks because this has been the traditional thinking government will also attempt at saving the large industries because that's how it has been thought for a uh, very long time Right? Even though the large industries are, uh, contribute only to the 30% of the jobs and 70% of the jobs come from MSMEs, right? but government still will want to save the large industries. That's what has been happening time and again and uh, perhaps this time also that's what they will attempt at. Uh, not that they are not smart, but probably few people's agenda will overweigh the larger interest. So uh, what's in it for you and me in this scenario? So while government will attempt at saving large industries in the pretext of jobs and they will also save the banks or they will attempt at saving the banks who will further fund the over leveraged industries not MSMEs. So what's in it for you and me? This is where we, uh, we have to think, we have to stop and think what is in it for an entrepreneur? What is in it for an entrepreneur who's running an MSME, who's got a startup, who's just getting started? See let's step back a bit before uh, we get to the point of what's how are we going to handle or what is in it so what are the immediate situations uh, uh, a startup is going, most likely to face soon after this right number one whatever the receivables are whichever client is to pay whatever the dues that's going to be a big question mark it's very unlikely that receivables will come through and we both understand that there's already a huge pile up of payables and that has to be attended to and without the receivables coming in payables are going to be a challenge and then getting money from the bank most unlikely uh, let's see if government actually gives out some doles to MSMEs and makes it easier for getting loans even though there have always been schemes for banks to be giving loans out to MSMEs we all know that none of the banks complied to it and uh, it's always been as difficult uh, to get any credit for, for an MSME so um, that's not going to be a way out so considering that what are the options right things are going to get difficult and uh, is it possible to get more business coming in I don't think so it's going to be much more tougher because economy is not just going to be bad in India economy is going to be bad all across so uh, you already have some customers in US or UK or Europe uh, in all probability expecting them to clear whatever the payment which is due is going to be a big question mark and second thing is whatever the project that were ongoing may not even continue and uh, even if they do 
may not be possible to continue at the same cost so there are going to be more competition coming in and uh, prices will be squeezed so continuing in the same pace is going to be a major major challenge so as an entrepreneur you'll have to take a serious call about what do you want to do next should you be continuing every resource that you have with cutting down the cost and trying to uh, get more business and push for uh, receivables of course you have to do all of it but you'll have to take serious call and keeping up with all the staff you have to seriously count how many you have to retain and how many you have to let go because it works both ways no point in trying to make a uh, false promise that you cannot meet so uh, you'll have to take a call soon probably now while you're in the lockdown mode think about it what are the costs going to be where are the receivables and what is their strength the client strength whether they will be able to sustain they'll be able to pay up they'll be able to continue with you can even start communicating with them start planning tell them to plan ahead and you start planning now whether you will have those clients with you even after whether whatever the receivables you can actually expect from them and you start looking at what are the other pipeline of businesses how much of them are likely to come and take a call how much of resources you should be having and then start setting an expectation to your resources also that listen this is where we are heading and most important thing right now is to be very transparent and very honest and not just with uh, your employees with yourself also don't try to fool yourself this is not a time to be heroic about no matter what i'll do it that's exactly the reason why you are an entrepreneur but what is most essential is to be very pragmatic today this is not the time to say no matter what i'll make it through yes you will make it but you need to be light